Hey there, YouTube. I just thought I would uh, take some time and go through my first sketchbook that I ever completed all the way through. Uh, we start off and I just put this reminder to myself that it's only paper. So we start off, this is a, a doodle that was very typical of what I did uh, when I graduated high school. Um, just kind of random shapes and stuff and a lot of shading. Uh, and then I was working on some colored uh, pencils here uh, and on the um, body. Uh, same kind of idea here, just kind of working on the human form. More human form. These are just kind of studies that I, that I did. Um, random picture I found of some woman trying to draw that, um, trying to understand the skull. You know, laying out a face. Uh, all of those were from years and years ago. This is where I kind of started back up. Uh, this was actually, um, I'd been watching Drawing with Waffles and she did some hands and I was kind of like listening to how she did them and trying to use some ideas that she had for making uh, an aesthetic sketchbook spread. Uh, I don't think this one is, but you know, I was playing and that's what your sketchbook is for. Uh, and then I got some alcohol markers so I just took some time to uh, swatch all of these in here because again I was like you know let's not be precious about this. Um, this that was just working on some different signatures. Um, I was thinking about doing a meet the artist somewhere but I never did it. Uh, I was this is um, actually a uh, from a picture that I took uh, out west somewhere and I was just playing with swapping out colors to see what would happen to see what it would look like. Um, it's weird. Uh, I didn't really like it but it was just something to play with. Um, these are were ideas for a sketchbook cover. Um, I think it was maybe for this sketchbook or maybe it was for there was a, a sketchbook project uh, that I sent a sketchbook into but just trying out ideas there. Um, then I had heard about the 100 heads challenge, so I decided to go ahead and try that. Uh, as you can see, I was not very good at trying heads. So um, I was trying and uh, realized that I need to draw larger uh, in order to kind of make something that I liked. So I was trying to draw a little bit larger here, and you can see that things are looking a little bit wonky. Um, you know, just overall not quite right. Um, and I just kept, you know, I, I tried this for a little while and then I finally just kind of gave up um, after, I'm not sure, there's gonna be a couple more pages of this. Um, they just weren't looking right. Uh, you'll see in a couple of um, videos from now, I'm probably gonna go through a couple more of my sketchbooks that I finished. I got a lot better, uh, but just practice, you know, you just gotta, try and, and see what you can do. Um, as you can see, everything's looking just a little wonky, just a little wrong, uh, but you got to start somewhere. I was trying to learn how to draw dogs. This is my sister-in-law's dogs and was trying to figure that out. Uh, none of these really look like her dogs, but um, I was trying. Uh, I was doing bullet journals, so I was trying some layouts for bullet journals in here. Again, October trying to do a bullet journal spread. Um, reminder again, it's only paper. I was kind of learning about the structure of the nose um, and trying some stuff out here. Uh, it's not very good, but you know, these are just kind of studies. And then Inktober hit. So this is the first time I'd ever tried to do Inktober. Um, so there's some stuff in here that I really like and some stuff that's not really so good. Um, the stuff that I like the most is stuff that I actually used references for. So I found some references of some koi and drew those out here. Um, so that was fish. Um, wisp, I, you can see over here, I would kind of come up with some ideas for what I might want to do. So I was thinking of, you know, uh, spider webs and flames and um, smoke coming off, coming off a pie, which you might not be able to see very well. I ended up just doing this candle and trying to do this wispy smoke, which I don't think was very successful. Bulky, I came on Baymax pretty quickly and just kind of liked that. So this was drawn from reference of Baymax and just kind of, you know, put it on here and use some, um, I think these are some of my uh, alcohol markers that I used to color it in. Either that or they were combo markers. I'm not sure which. 
This one is radio. I just kind of wrote some ideas down over here and I just kind of uh, drew a terrible old timey radio and like this on air microphone. Um, this one um, I kind of liked, but there, there's some wonkiness to it, but I like that I tried putting some color in um, a lot of this. There's some ink here and some colored pencil in here. And then this is some kind of marker. Um, and there's a very light blue uh, colored pencil background. I really liked this guy. Um, I thought I did a pretty good job of keeping him kind of loose at the time. Um, I kind of like the flower. Looking back at it, it's not really as good as I remembered it, but you know, I enjoyed it. I had fun. Um, so then let's see, the next day was fancy. So I was just figured I'd do some fancy writing. So um, grabbed some black paper that I had and some uh, calligraphy pens and just wrote the word fancy in a fancy font um, just because I was feeling lazy and that sounded like fun. <laughs> teeth, I, oh, this was, this is um, my attempt at drawing the tooth fairy and I realized I'm not really that good at drawing people. Um, uh, even though you saw some stuff very at the very beginning that looked pretty good, that was from reference and I was trying not to go from reference as much for some reason. Um, and so I ended up on uh, Count Chocula because he's got fangs, he's a vampire, teeth, obviously. Um, I was pretty proud of this dog uh, because I hadn't really drawn dogs too much. And this was um, from imagination. This wasn't like, this wasn't a reference. So I was pretty happy with how he turned out. Uh, he's still not too bad, um, but there it is. This one was, uh, I think the prompt was Hope. Uh, and as you can see, my faces are pretty wonky uh, if I don't have a reference here. Um, and I think I, yeah, I ended up, this is the final one that I ended up going with. It's a little bit better than the previous page, um, but you know, not that great, but I will, I get better. <laughs> I promise. Um, day 11, disgusting. I was just kind of, again, brainstorming some different ideas. This is like chunky, rotten, spoiled milk. Um, outhouse was my first idea, just a pile of poo. And I ended up with, going with the outhouse. I liked the textures on here. Um, and I think overall, it's not too bad. There's some nice depth going on in the, the moon there. Um, so overall, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, the next day was slippery. And again, I was trying out some different ideas here. I don't know what this is, um, but a fish, an ice cube, a bar of soap, a muddy pig. Um, again, this is, I drew an ice cube a little bigger where it was melting. And as you can see, I ended up going with the soap. I wasn't very good at inking, um, but I was really pushing myself to ink everything. And I think I maybe went a little bit overboard with texturing. Uh, so this doesn't quite look like soap, but you know, it gets the idea across. Day 13 was Dune. And so I just kind of over here, I just drew out some um, just quick outlines of dunes. And then um, I think I'd been watching some stuff about different uh, uh, inking techniques. And I remembered and, and seen something about uh, pointillism, which I've done in the past. Uh, I did that in high school for a couple of drawings. Uh, so I did that here just to kind of evoke the feeling of sand. And then this one in the background, I didn't really do, uh, do it with the pointillism. I did with some texture because I wanted it to be just darker in the background so you didn't see as much detail. Armor. So I thought about doing something uh, like a twist on it, like an armadillo or a turtle or like a ladybug or something like that. Uh, but I ended up going with, you know, the obvious armor. I don't think this quite looks like metal, uh, but I was doing my best again, not with reference. So this was kind of just from my head, uh, trying to figure out what armor would look like. Uh, this is a bit of a cop out um, <laughs> and just kind of me being silly um, outpost. I was like, well, there's an in post and an outpost. <laughs> uh, day 16 was rocket. So I was trying to draw a rocket from guardians of the galaxy. Um, again, I don't think it was very successful, but um, I really, um, at the time was really not very good or comfortable with inking. So, um, given that it's not bad, but, uh, it could be better. I, oops, sorry. This next one was kind of fun. Um, storm. I just 
had fun with evoking the feeling of a storm. Uh, so I did this nice kind of like I bordered it in and then just uh, varying weights and different swirls and stuff. I actually really like this one. Um, I think it's, you know, it's very abstract, but I think it was really successful. And you can see over here, I was trying different things out. I kind of had just like stormy skies and was doing different textures. And then I think I was thinking of like Van Gogh's Stormy Night and stuff like that. And um, then I ended up with this, which I said I actually really like. I think it was pretty successful. Um, this one I had a lot of fun with. Uh, the prompt was trap. And I immediately thought of an anglerfish. And um, this is black paper. And these are gel pens on top of the black paper. And I just had a lot of fun drawing it. Um, and I just, I don't know, I just like it. Um, it's obviously like technically has some issues, but I just liked the feeling of it and, and the kind of scratchiness of it and everything. <laughs> so day 19 was dizzy. Um, and I, again, for some reason, decided not to use references and was trying to figure out well, what, what does a person's body look like in side profile? And this is what I ended up with, which isn't bad, but, you know, obviously has issues. Uh, but I just kind of went with it and said, you know what, I'm just going to do it and I'm going to move on because I knew that I wasn't going to have perfect drawings every day and I wanted to be okay with that. So this is what I ended up with. Coral. I actually really, really enjoyed this and I really like how this one turned out. Again, I had this nice border on here. And I decided that I didn't want it to fill the whole thing. So I drew the line around most of the way and then just took um, some orange pens and looked like I had a little red pen in there and just went to town with um, making all of the little lines and bubbles and stuff in here. Um, and I really like how this turned out. It's very vivid and I like that it doesn't finish over here, um, which kind of makes it a lot more interesting to the eye. Uh, so that one was a lot of fun. It took a lot of time to do, but I said, I think it's pretty good. Sleep. I thought this was first thing I thought of was cats um, curled up and sleeping. And so this is obviously more of an illustrative uh, style, which isn't my typical style, but I kind of liked it. It's cute. It's small. Uh, and I like the, you know, kind of the circular feel here. The shading, you know, the hatching here could be better, but... <laughs> The, the next day was Chef, and then, of course, the Swedish Chef. Um, you know, I grew up watching the Muppet Show, and so the Swedish Chef is a very um, big part of my childhood. So here we are. This is my rendition of the Swedish Chef. Day 23 was RIP. Nothing more that I could have done than a, a tombstone, but I decided to um, have uh, 2020, uh, the RIP of 2020, because we were all... <clears throat> pretty tired of the, uh, COVID and lockdowns, not having toilet paper. So, and I kind of incorporated some of that into here. Not super successful, but I thought I was funny. Um, day 24 was dig. So uh, I just drew this dog digging in the dirt. Um, I'm not sure that it really looks like he's digging with his back legs and standing very still there. That was again from imagination, just trying, trying really hard to come up with something. I actually think my sketch over here looks a little bit better. I'm not sure how it's like, what's much different, but this just looks more active to me. <laughs> Day 25, buddy. As you can see, I didn't think I was very good at people. And as you can see, these really don't look that good. But I just did it and said, you know what? Uh, this is good enough. I'm moving on um, because I didn't want to spend a lot more time on it. Um, oh, looks like I actually did try to do something different for Buddy, um, and I did this cute little cat. Um, day 26, hide. I was I had different ideas of things hiding. Got some someone hiding behind some curtains here, hiding under the cover, like an animal hide, <laughs> and an elephant hiding behind a tree. Um, not very successfully. I decided to just go with the nice, you know, the cute little kid hiding under the blankets, and completely from my imagination, which I don't do a whole lot, so. Day 28, float. I had a lot of different ideas here. The house from up, root beer float, balloons, swans, boats. 
Other than that, we just go in with a swan. Day 30 was ominous, and I think I, I also had some different ideas over here. <laughs> And day 31 was crawl, and um, I was just thinking back to times in school when it was almost the end of the day, and you're just waiting for the day to end, and that clock just seemed to crawl on and on forever. So now we're done with Inktober, um, and I wanted to do some, just from people on TV, uh, I wasn't very good at it, so I couldn't get much down continuing to do the same thing here lots of that some of these aren't too bad not the best but actually not bad this is my cat I just decided to sketch her while she was laying on the couch I actually think that turned out pretty good I don't know why I have a picture of a gorilla face but I do December layout some Celtic crosses uh, try to draw this fox not very successfully tried some other ones uh, a little bit better but you know not the best then I was taking some, <clears throat> I think this was some classes on Skillshare on inking and trying different things out. And this was supposed to be a pillow. Um, it looks kind of more like a crumpled piece of paper to me. Uh, it doesn't quite look soft. I do kind of like how, how the texture is on there. And this is just different um, ways to put textures uh, using your ink pen and just trying, you know, practicing with those. Um, got some fountain pens for playing with those. Um, just playing here. Uh, this is just kind of loosen your hand up to some warm ups, just trying that out. And then, as you can tell, I was a big fan of drawing with waffles, and she had done some birds with um, alcohol markers. So I decided to do the same. I really like this page. I'm really happy with how all of these turned out. Um, I like how it's nice and colorful. These are not my originals, they are references from um, images on. Pinterest mostly. I am really happy with how they all turned out. Um, I decided to try and draw a bird without a reference, um, just using those fountain pens that you saw I was trying out a few pages ago. Not that great, but you know, I was trying to see what I had learned by drawing these guys. And then it looks like I was trying to draw some heads and then trying to understand uh, the anatomy of a bird's skeleton and like how it's put together. Uh, oh, yeah, looks like I was taking a Skillshare class here. Uh, start, start drawing uh, three exercises. This was a uh, contour overall. This ended up turning out way better than I would have imagined um, because I was paying more attention to, so you can see how distorted things got. How about we get down? Come on, let's get down. Sorry, my cat decided to visit. She usually doesn't do that. I got a small watercolor sketchbook and I was playing with that where uh, my idea was I would do one page where I would take one color and mix it with all the others. And then the other page was going to be uh, some painting using that palette. Um, and so that was this kind of drawing out like, oh, what is that painting going to be for this particular mixture? Um, I did that for a little while and then kind of gave up, but you can see here I was trying out different drawings. Um, so instead of just doing boxes, I was doing different um, drawings and stuff over here uh, on the on the page where I'd mix the colors together and, and put stuff in. So this is me tr trying some of that out. I knew I was getting toward the end of the sketchbook and so I decided to try and do some sketchbook uh, first page ideas. Uh, for my next sketchbook, just trying some stuff out. I had seen something, again, I think in a Skillshare class, talking about like laying a grid work out so that you can draw things and get the proportions more accurate. And so I decided to try that with this baby. And I was very surprised at the proportions when I did that. I, I'm sure that if I had tried to draw this without the grid, my proportions would have been wrong. But I really like this. And I should do this again. I would recommend trying this with people, with animals, with different things that you want to learn how to draw. So you can kind of really understand the proportions better. It really helps to see them and get them drawn more accurately. Because I wanted to try and draw people, I decided to take some more classes about how to draw faces. Um, and so th these are a lot of studies and notes 
on how to do that. Apparently I decided to do this succulent. I think I was using some gel pens that I had, just playing with that. I think it turned out okay. I got this cute little squirrel over here. Um, this looks like it's colored pencil. I was done with this sketchbook and wanted to fill it up. So these are just kind of like me having a little bit of fun and reminding myself a bunch of stuff like like this is a safe place it's okay to copy ideas mistakes are okay so just a lot of just reminders to myself that you know what this is a sketchbook it's for playing it's for trying things out and if it doesn't work out it's not a big deal just just do it just put it in here and move on this is another um, exercise that I've seen a lot of uh, artists online do and I've seen a lot of um, things suggesting that you do basically you take something and you make a shape uh, make some kind of weird blob shape and then the idea is that you take and make that blob shape into something I did just a lot of random stuff that I saw in there it is an interesting exercise it is really pushing your creativity and some shapes are harder than others <laughs> uh, and none of these are masterpieces and they're not meant to be they're just meant to kind of get you thinking and being creative and so that's all this is just me playing with that looks like I was doing some more uh, sketchbook cover ideas uh, and our first page ideas here Anyways. again trying to learn the face learn the planes of the face I kind of like gave up on that um, I should go back to that I went to the dollar store and found this little box of like the scratch off paper and I bought that and I was just having a good time just playing and drawing some stuff and I decided to just tape that in here looks like I just drew some eyeballs on here you can see some bleed through from the page to the other page I was using sharpies to try and make a drawing here and you can do that you, you get lots of um, kind of streakiness and things like that uh, but they're interesting. They're kind of fun to try things with. Uh, looks like I got some paint. Uh, I think this is maybe a Posca paint pen uh, and it ended up kind of exploding on me <laughs> and making a bit of a mess. Uh, and then over here, I think this was, I feel like this was another Skillshare class that I was taking and was trying some stuff out or maybe I was just playing. I had seen something where like, hey, you should in order to kind of urge you to do something on the page because a blank page is intimidating draw boxes and then fill up those boxes so that's what this is um, I drew a bunch of boxes and then just tried a bunch of different things this definitely is a Posca um, marker drawing down here uh, just trying to do some very loose florals um, this cute little butterfly I kind of like him and I like mandalas so I'm um, just kind of drawing one of those I stuck in some prompts from Doodle Wash. I didn't do very many of them. I thought I would do more, um, but you can see I started here. Um, I did this caterpillar, this dandelion. I, I liked some of this. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. And I think I was using the alcohol markers here and was trying out the colors up there. But again, working on anatomy. Um, this is again that uh, scratch off paper. It's just kind of fun to play with. These aren't that good, but they were just kind of fun to do. I just decided to do patterns on here and then um, for some reason decided to put highlighter over top. It's very sparse. I don't really like how it turned out, but again, that's what your sketchbook is for, experimentation. Uh, looks like I decided to go back and try a horse again. I think this one is more successful than some of my other ones. I was getting ready, I think. This was maybe even for Inktober or no, it was another sketchbook I was going to do and I wasn't sure what I was going to use it for. I wanted to have like, I had this um, sketchbook that was brown toned paper and I wanted to do this cool map on there and <clears throat> basically kind of make it like my journey to get to the end. So I was going to put the date that I started and then like this trail through and, and label some of the different places, things like art block mountains and hate my work lake and you know just silly things like that so you would travel through all of these obstacles in order to get to a finished sketchbook so I did make that in a sketchbook and I really like how the map turned out 
and you can see here I was trying different map ideas and trying to figure out like how do I want to lay this out? Do I want to put a legend on there? Where do I want to put the start and end dates? This was a uh, random scribble challenge. So you start off with a random scribble on the page and you try to make it into something. It looks like I tried to make this into a face. Um, I'm not sure how successful it was. I I liked this. Th this was a I think another Skillshare class I did and it was again I think it was maybe I don't know which class it was but she had us do a bunch of different exercises. Uh, one of them was just to draw really slowly and like extra slow um, and I don't think that that really changed a whole lot but then she's like draw with energy and so just trying to in, impart energy into your drawing and so this was a high energy drawing so I was trying to like quick motions and like really get things down quickly and get that energy in it I really liked how this turned out so this was this is not my normal style um, this was kind of this scribble bonsai and I really like how it turned out. I liked the energy in it. I liked the feeling that it evoked. And then it looks like I was maybe doing some of those doodle wash um, prompts. So I uh, metamorphosis. I was trying brush pens out. I don't like brush pens, but I decided to kind of push myself and try a brush pen. And so I drew this. So this was this was also metamorphosis and transform. Again, this was from that same class. She had us start off by drawing something and I drew this seed. <clears throat> I think it was transform or it was metaphor. Well, it was metamorphosis again. Sorry. Uh, I drew the seed and like the, the plant coming out of it. And then later she's like, go back to some of your drawings and see if you can transform it and make it in something else. So I came back to this and decided to add in the, the ground, I like kind of blacked out the ground and drew the ants on here and like their little ant holes and everything. And it was, it was really eye opening, I guess, to think about going back to a piece and seeing what you can do. If, if you don't like it, the worst you can do is make it worse. It's not, I mean, if you already don't like it, you, you know, you could end up still not liking it. So the only thing you can do is go up. So that was really interesting and it's a good lesson to learn. I highly recommend doing that. I'll have to go and try and find that Skillshare class. This was another one. She did Crowd of Creatures. Um, I think they ended up being very flat looking, but that it, that it is. That's it. Um, then she wanted us to do like uh, your day in color. So it was just drawing a bunch of different things that you did that day. I actually kind of like how this spread turned or this page turned out. Um, it's not really something I would normally do, but you know, looking back on it, I like how colorful it is. So it's kind of fun. And then this, she wanted you to flatten everything out and just kind of draw everything real flat. I think this is maybe one of the doodle prompts or uh, prompts. I tried to draw my house here. There's lots of different levels to my house. So it's a little bit funky looking. This is another one of those your day, um, in sketches. And so I drew some of that out here. Texture. I drew this cute little knit monster. I really like the texture that it ended up with. I think it's kind of cute. Again, I was trying different ideas for a sketchbook first page and I decided to redo that uh, scribbly bonsai and I like that. Uh, and then the last couple pages here are different drawing exercises that are good for training your hand for accuracy. Um, so you draw a shape and then you draw a bunch of shapes inside. So this one, you draw a shape and then um, you can just barely see that like I drew some squiggles in here, a bunch of different squiggles, and then like filled in the squiggles, uh, a bunch of different concentric circles, flowers, petals. This is again petals, but I think I started off with like one big shape or maybe I started off with the petals and then added the shapes around it. I don't remember. Um, different types of waves and that's it uh, that is the end of the sketchbook in a uh, in some future sketchbook tours you'll get to see how much uh, my skill has improved over the last couple of years and hopefully that will encourage others to continue to draw and do the same uh, until next time bye